What's up, guys? I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. I'm back with another XRP update that you'd hate to miss out on. If you're an XRP holder, be sure to watch this video to the end and give it a like to show your support. So guys, today is one of those days we share some very important news that will determine the future of XRP. So stick around to the end for all the juice. Now, I don't understand why some folks keep saying XRP will be broken at some point. There is so much hatred surrounding XRP, and you know the funny thing is that none of it is justifiable. I think it's time people accepted that XRP is a solid cryptocurrency that will soon change the future of cross-border transactions. With that said, the people who don't like XRP should also give us some solid arguments to support their claims, because we are definitely going to the moon. That aside, let's roll that intro. As always, we welcome you back to MoneySide, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, welcome to the XRP family. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. A few days ago, on May 18th to be precise, we had a massive XRP transfer of about $25 million from Bitrex to an unknown wallet. We are talking about $38,256,891 here. This didn't just happen with XRP. At whale underscore alert on Twitter, we could see more massive transfers in Ethereum, each worth $100 million. Scrolling through this Twitter account makes you wonder how much money some of these people have. Recently, Ripple has also announced their partnerships with sustainability leaders in the effort to achieve its net carbon zero by 2030. In the report, Ripple argues that digital assets have the potential to transform how unbanked and underbanked populations access basic financial services. Ripple linked an exact number of aspects of their environmental strategy. That included a list of partners counting the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Mercy Corps, Mojaloop Foundation, and the Institute for Business and Social Impact among them. On their website, Ripple states, our current global financial system does not meet the needs of 1.7 billion unbanked people. Digital assets and distributed ledger technology, DLT, have the potential to transform how unbanked and underbanked populations access basic financial services and send and receive money across borders, making it more accessible, affordable, and secure. The report referred to XRP as a green currency as compared to Ethereum and Bitcoin. It's exciting to know that XRP uses only 63,000 gallons per 100 million transactions. This is mind-blowing, guys. Meanwhile, Ethereum uses 239 million and Bitcoin nearly 4 billion gallons per 100 million transactions. More cryptocurrency-based companies realize that Wyoming is a better domicile than Delaware due to their crypto-friendly laws. We've tried to speculate before what Ripple's end goal could be, but eventually we had to dispute everything. What we can tell is that Ripple is indeed strategizing, and as much as we may not know right now, there is definitely a very elaborate reason they went for Wyoming. As it stands, it doesn't seem like Ripple will move its headquarters to the crypto-friendly state, as their headquarters are still based in San Francisco. Up to now, we still don't know why Ripple registered as a Wyoming business, but they definitely have something big cooking. In fact, Brad Garlinghouse and co-founder Chris Larson said they are displeased with the lack of regulatory clarity on crypto and blockchain in the United States. By the day, Wyoming is becoming the most attractive U.S. state for blockchain and crypto firms, according to an article published on Cointelegraph.com. Last year, the Wyoming State Banking Board granted crypto exchange Kraken a charter to operate as a crypto-friendly bank and gave Avanti the green light to receive and custody crypto in a similar fashion. The one question that probably every XRP holder is asking themselves is, is the bull run over? Or will we have more upside? We recently have seen the price of XRP triple over the last couple of weeks. But with more developments and positive news over the next couple of months, this bull run may not be over yet. Besides the fact that Ripple already has the edge over the SEC, another reason to get XRP to its all-time high is the coming Flare network that will go live in quarter two of 2021. That means it could be anywhere between now and June. The launch of the Flare network with the airdropped FLR tokens to be finally distributed to qualified holders of XRP, those who owned XRP during the snapshot in December couldn't have come at a better time to hype up XRP again. 
According to Narometrics.com, not only will the FLR tokens be distributed into the accounts of the XRP holders, another airdrop will occur around one month after the launch of the Flare Network. Flare Network's launch provides another utility for the XRP token, since XRP holders are able to buy FLR using XRP or use their airdropped FLR tokens to mint FXRP that is interoperable with the Ethereum blockchain. This allows holders of XRP to participate in Ethereum-based DeFi and NFT projects to do yield farming, trade on DEX, and join the NFT mania, which it otherwise could not do. This is very exciting news indeed for one more use case for the XRP token. Should more top-tier exchanges relist XRP, we will see a huge spike in the XRP price. The best part is that the XRP price will shoot up despite the SEC lawsuit outcome. This is comforting news for the XRP holders looking to make massive profits in the long term. Yes, guys, now it's time to look at the charts and see what's happening. We're looking at the two-hour time frame. It looks like we are pretty close to finishing correction and challenge the all-time high. We're not sure if the bottom is already in, so a potential move to the 0.7 zones is still possible. If we will break 0.95, dark red boxes is your buying zone. If we will break the upper trend line, red, from the bordering descending wedge, we will challenge the 1.6 level. The second scenario is a test of a breakout which took place in April. Don't be surprised if we will see a short spike to the downside over the weekend. And now we're looking at the 4-hour time frame perspectives. XRP is one of the pairs that heavily increased with volatility in recent times since it bounced from its upper boundary with this volatile exaggeration. It has tested the lower boundary that I discovered and now has somewhat the ability to move on and test the upper boundary anew from where another bounce can determine further alignments. Taking this structure as a whole, XRP has the ability to form a channel breakout sooner or later, therefore it is highly necessary that XRP properly stabilizes the structure and manages to form a sufficient development in the channel. Before that, it is necessary to keep patient, await the right validations to finally move in the equitable direction. Best wishes to everyone. As always, trade safely, my friends. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comments section below and let's have a conversation. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to click on that subscribe button down below. Turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.